Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. You're watching Park City Television. And as we are all gearing up to celebrate moms this Sunday, it's always a time to look back and reflect on what it really means to be somebody's mom. And uh, while we like to celebrate with gifts and Hallmark cards, sometimes moms find challenging roles that they never expected. And this one mom made the best of it and is going on to help other moms in her own position. I'm thrilled to be sitting down with Amy Oliver, who has founded the Intermountain PKU and Allied Disorders Association. Good morning. Welcome. Thank Hi. you. So Amy, I want to talk to you first about you are a mom of three. I am. So congratulations on that Thank in you. itself, right? Thank we have you. a big day on Sunday. Whenever you first have a baby, it's always in that fog of like, they just, I, you know, they handed me a baby and you have nurses and doctors telling you all of these things they're testing for and they're checking and everyone just assumes it's all going to be great. Yes. Um, you did not have that experience. Right, so when my daughter was born, she's our second child, um, she was eight days old and we received a phone call from our pediatrician's office that said she'd had a positive test on her newborn screen for something called phenylketonuria. Um, I'd never heard of it, I didn't know what they were talking about, I asked them to spell it uh, so I could have an idea. I love that, um, could you please spell that? I, didn't yeah. <laughs> I had no idea uh, and they told us that we needed to go straight up to Primary Children's Hospital and have additional blood work done uh, to confirm her positive test and at that point that's about all we knew. Um, we did rush her up there uh, to Primary Children's and did some blood work and the next day we met with a, a full metabolic team up at Primary Children's and the Health Department to talk about uh, PKU is the, the short way of saying it and uh, you know what it meant for her and what it would mean for our lives going forward. And what for people that may not be familiar with PKU what is just sort of a general overview of what the disease entails? Right so PKU is a enzyme deficiency where the child is unable to process protein. So uh, the protein goes into the body but it's not converted properly and so it builds up in the bloodstream and becomes toxic to the brain. And so if it's not treated immediately from birth then the, the toxic uh, interference with brain development causes intellectual disabilities, developmental delays, and has very significant consequences. And it was not just your daughter, so you're a mom of three. Right. This is a genetic disease, as it so is. many things are, and then you received the same news again. We did, so um, we decided to have a third child, and we knew when we did that our odds were uh, one in four that he would also have PKU. Um, we decided to take those odds and uh, we got the one uh, and so we knew shortly after he was born that he also um, has PKU. And this time as devastating as it is to always hear that there's a challenge with your newborn specifically, right. you were more informed, you were prepared, you knew what was happening, and the, the, you had the mom side of you, you also had the attorney side of you from right. your previous life, and right. you decided to do something about it so other moms wouldn't have that same sort of shock and confusion and could you please spell it moment that you had. Right. When my daughter was born, we didn't meet another family uh, that had a child with PKU until she was almost nine months old. And actually, that was the most reassuring thing that ever happened to me. You know, the, the doctors and nurses will tell you, you know, as long as you follow this low-protein diet uh, for life for these kids, they're going to do really well. They're going to be healthy mm -hmm. and happy. And while that's very reassuring, uh, the most reassuring thing to see are kids. Actual kids being yeah, healthy and happy right. and thriving. Just being kids. So um, I worked with some other parents of kids with PKU and our wonderful clinic at Primary Children's and, and founded a nonprofit organization here in Salt Lake and we cover the Intermountain region. And one of the things we do is when a new baby is born, we provide a starter kit of sorts to the family and we hand deliver that and go visit with them. And my daughter is now 10, so she's old enough and she goes with us. And I will tell you that the families have told us that seeing the kids and seeing that they're doing well. They're happy, is, they're healthy, they're yeah, functioning. Well, I think right. as a mother, no matter what your challenge, just that power of me too, you know, or right. I can relate, or this is, you know, I've been through this experience, but I've come out the other end, is the right. biggest gift you could give. And it's absolutely the most reassuring thing, at least uh, for me and from what the new parents tell us, is it's it's one thing for the doctors and the nurses to tell you it's, it's going to be okay and they're going to do well, but it's really most reassuring when you can see it and talk to those other moms who've been there. Who've been there. And you had said, I'd read it in your bio, that 
with between your, your two children that you've probably spent almost a year of your life sitting next to a hospital bed waiting to hear about a doctor coming in or giving a diagnosis or giving a treatment. People talk about becoming a mom as the hardest job in the world and all right. these different entities, but for everybody there's a different scale and right. I would have to say that that is on <laughs> one, spec <laughs> one end of the spectrum. Right. Uh, for moms that maybe are going through something similar, whether it be PKU, whether it be any sort of a medical challenge with their child, what right. advice would you give them? You know, we try and have perspective um, and address the challenge that we have as a family. So the treatment for PKU is a very restricted, low-protein diet. We have to watch every bite of food that the kids eat, and they'll have to do this their whole life. And it's uh, a lot of work, and it's a lot of time. But we've adjusted to it, so we just sort of call it our new normal. This is the life we have, and this is what we need to do to make sure our children are healthy. And so we just fold it in to what we do, and we try and view it in that way. There is a treatment, the kids are going to do well, and it's just what we as a family have to do. It's your normal, and right. everybody has their own. Yes. And so many people say, and I never got this until I think I had kids, that you think you teach the kids, and you have to provide everything for the kids. But it's really, they teach you so much right. that you just didn't even know you needed, and healing you didn't even know you had to do. What, as a mom now, have you learned about yourself through all of this? Uh, so I never knew the strength I would have to um, do things like this or the skill set you can learn. So as I mentioned, the treatment is a special low protein diet and uh, in order to provide that to my kids, I've had to learn how to cook a whole different way mm -hmm. and bake in ways that I didn't know were even possible. And that was not my skill set uh, <laughs> before I had kids. I was not a baker mm -hmm. uh, and I like to joke, I don't know how to make regular banana bread, but I know how to make low protein <laughs> banana bread. Right, so it's a whole it's a whole new it's world a whole for me. New yeah, way absolutely. Of looking at things, but I think that's so powerful to say. I didn't know the strength I had because I yeah. think so many moms on different scales say that. If I didn't know what I could do or what right. I was capable of, mm -hmm. well, I know there's going to be so many moms out there and and just so many families that are going to want to support your organization or maybe have received that diagnosis and are looking for more information. How can people get involved to support you? So we have a presence on Facebook, and it's uh, facebook.com slash Intermountain PKU. And there you can see about all the activities, our upcoming summer camp for kids, and ways you can support our organization. That's fantastic. Amy, thank you so much for being here. What a great way to, to celebrate Mother's Day to meet a mom like you. Well, thank you. It's been my pleasure. All right. We're going to take a quick break here on the Mountain Morning Show. But of course, if you or anyone you know and love have been recently diagnosed with PKU, there is a group, there is a support out there. And I encourage all of you to go on Facebook and support Amy and her team. We're going to take a quick break here on the show and be back with much more. You are watching Park City Television.